Yo, what's going on everyone? Uh, today I got something pretty cool. I actually just got in the mail yesterday Scuff's brand new uh, Vantage controller that actually releases on the 25th of September. So it's not quite out yet, but I was uh, lucky enough to get it early. I've gotten Scuff's for probably the last five years and this one is easily the most advanced. And it actually allows you to do a lot more things with it because um, prior to this controller, you'd have to order the customized controller, you'd have to take out the rumble packs, or like, order them without them, or order them with certain configurations, stuff like that, but with this one, you can do, you can do everything yourself. So I actually have the controller right here, that's what the paddles sound like, and here is the standard gray coloring that they have on it when you first get it, and... Um, I say standard gray because you can actually change the colors here. I'll show you the whole box that it came in. So here's the box. As you can tell, there's the controller. And then below the controller are a bunch of different things. Here, I'll take out, I'll take them out one by one and show you guys. So here's the actual colors you can switch. There's a, there's a red casing. There's the black. So you can go red, black, gray. Now I'm not sure if you can actually order them or order certain colors like blue or green too. It might just be these colors to for now. Anyways, they made it actually really simple to take it off. So there's a there's a little groove right here, kind of right on the bottom, and you just you just basically push it out, and it's uh it's just magnetic, so it's super easy to take off and put back on. So right now I'm basically just going through the accessories and what comes with it. Um, I'll get to the more of the other features in a second, but anyways here are some th There's all kinds of different thumbsticks and um, Triggers that you can use so the triggers come off thumbsticks come off. They're all they all come off super easy I'll show you in a second, but those those are the red ones. These are the black ones. They got dome shape They got the concave ones they got literally everything that you could you could possibly put on it It's pretty simple how you take off everything so take off the the coloring then the thumbsticks just kind of pop off so you just kind of find where the groove is and then you just push it in and the thumbsticks back on also d-pad i know uh, scuff kind of introduced the the circular d-pad so this is just the standard d-pad that comes on every playstation controller but that actually just pops off really easy and then you can actually toss on one of the the circular D-pads. I'll show you guys that. Hey, Casey. What up? Can I be in it? Sure. You want to say hi? What's up, friends? <laughs> YouTube Anyone you want to shout out? I would love to give a huge shout out to Maximilian Robert Duddy Cooper. There you go. Uh, anyways, here's the here's the D-pad. Here's the circular D-pad that you can just you can just uh you know, snap on. Actually, it doesn't even snap on. It's just literally magnetic and just goes right on. Now, this is what the uh, controller comes in. Kind of, it's just always, scuff has always been like this. Has this little sleeve on it. Take it off. Opens up just like this. It's actually really nice casing. Like, it's, it's literally like a trophy case. And you open that up and the scuff comes just sitting in here. And then underneath is a bunch of cables basically charging cables okay well I just opened up another little thing and there's uh more thumbsticks triggers one of the scuff keys here is the here's another little package thing that I just opened that has looks like a booklet some stickers and uh, looks like the whole instruction guide right here controller set up and you'll find a ton of stuff right there. But now for more of the feature side of things, I'm just going to leave this uh, gray colored plate on it. I'm going to put the D-pad back on. So uh, just like just like older scuffs, you know, there's the four paddles. There's uh, one right here, one right there, one right there, and one right there. And these ones are actually shaped real nicely. I uh, haven't used a scuff in a while. But my old scuffs didn't have this little, see how it goes out at the end? It like forms to your hand like really well and you can just slide them over to click the other ones. See, I personally play claw, 
so I've never really used the paddles all that much. I've tried them out, and I'm going to try it out with this one, but this is just a huge advantage for people who who don't play claw and are still really good and can use paddles. This controller is insane because there's also these new buttons. This is uh, S2, this is S1, and they're just on the side of the controller. So if you hold the controller like this, uh, the triggers, the triggers right here, bumpers right here, and then all you have to do is just kind of push in with your index finger and then use it as another paddle. So this is one thing. If Epic ever actually lets console players or controller players uh, remap their buttons and put their own button binds, key binds on their controller, then these would be insane. If they actually count as another as a whole nother button rather than only being able to be remapped to one of these, we could edit with one of these and it would be instant and it would make all the difference in the world. So that would be, that's one possibility because Epic has talked about making keybinds for console players and if they actually end up doing it, this controller could be completely game changing. And I'm not just saying that, I know people are going to say that because I got this early, blah, 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 blah. But for real, like if if they actually let you do keybinds on a controller, this this would be so insane to do. Also, there is so you can actually control the volume right here. It's not turned on right now. I don't have it plugged in or anything, but you're able to it's it's a touch screen right here, this black bar right here. So you can adjust volume like really quickly. Just literally go down there and slide your finger and adjust the volume. And it, that's just another cool feature. And another thing so I forgot about this when you take off your casing take it off super easy so you know how there's rumble packs in a controller and a lot of people who've ordered scuffs including myself have taken out the rumble packs because it makes it lighter it's just used for vibration and I usually turn vibration off anyways so uh, I always got the rumble packs out but when you take off the controller so look at the these are the rumble packs they're just sitting right there so you literally just you you, you just take them out and the controller becomes extremely light compared to what it was because it's a somewhat heavy controller with them in but now this feels more like a standard controller like these this is just a regular ps4 controller and it feels just about the same as this one and with these in it it kind of adds a lot of weight and going back to the paddles and the, the extra new buttons on the controller they are completely remappable you can put them to any button, that's why I didn't really say what button they're for. Literally, you could make this be start if you wanted it to, or this be triangle, or whatever, you, literally whatever you want, you can just remap them. If you wanted to aim and shoot with the paddles, you could. You could just aim, shoot. It's a pretty special controller, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to have been able to show you guys and actually get it early and kind of show you guys some pre-release stuff. And yeah, there's a... Uh, there's my uh, unboxing slash review slash video about the, the Scuff Vantage. So I'm looking at the price right now, and the price is $169.95 for the wired model. And then if you want the wired slash wireless model, it's $199.95. Er, $199 so it's a little bit more expensive, but just gives you a little bit more options with being wireless and everything. So it releases, once again, September 25th. And the thing about it is, it's like the same price as the older scuffs, but it's so much more advanced and you're actually able to do so many more things with it. So it's a big upgrade. So anyways, uh, if you like what you see, you can, uh, I think you can pre-order one. I'll figure that out and I'll put the pre-order link in the description if, if there actually is a pre-order link. And I haven't promoted my discount code on scuff in a while. You can try the code SWAN. I don't know if it works. Um, but I'll put it in the description if I actually figure out if it does. But if not, just check it out regardless. See if you like it. Look up more stuff on it. So, that's all I got for you. All this stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Check it out. Peace.